Good day, Pinoy Clixers and Mixers. We're here for another unboxing video. And as the thumbnail suggests, we are going to unbox Marvel's Binary. Okay. So what are we waiting for? Let's go! So we have here Marvel Legends series, specifically Marvel's Binary. I purchased this when it first came out. Okay, not from Toy Kingdom, but from another individual reseller. Okay, forgot who, but thank you, whoever you are, you know who you are. Okay, so uh, before we jump into the unboxing, let's take a look quickly at what's on the side so we have here binary another illustration and then on the other side the same one and then at the back it's also the same but with some more information so marvel's binary an alien experiment conducted by the brood transforms carol danvers into binary a being who can tap into unprecedented cosmic power. Okay, so that's the quick story about Marvel's binary. So we all know that uh, the Carl Danvers here is Miss Marvel. Okay, so uh, who Rogue uh, absorbed the powers of Miss Marvel. Okay, so and after that incident, Carol Danvers joined the Star Jammers, had a stint with the X-Men, and then targeted by the Brood, okay, to be experimented on, and she has the power or can tap into the power of a white hole. Okay. So that's the short story of binary. But as you know, we're not just gonna unbox binary. We're going to look at some of Binary's Heroclix forms. Okay, so there's only uh, three Binary made so far in Heroclix. Okay, so by the way, this is HC Realms for those of you who are not familiar. That's the website, hcrealms.com, heroclixrealms.com. So there's only three Binary one from Supernova, one from Chaos War, and the latest and the modern binary from the House of X. So let's take a look at them one by one. Okay, so the first one is a binary from Supernova. Okay, so this is, I imagine, Golden Age. So I think this is still carded. I just don't have the time to take out the cards. <laughs> okay, it's in another binder. So I'm gonna show to you the stat here. So there's no trait. And she has the keyword Star Jammers and X-Men. Okay. And this is very much close to the Marvel Legends figure that we have. Okay, it's a, she's a bit dirty. Needs more cleaning. Okay. Set 128, set 94 rather, 128 points. And then hypersonic but uh, 9 attack, 8 range. So I imagine during her time, she is a viable piece. So the next binary that we had was during the Chaos War. Okay. And this is, this, this is that binary. So it's already on Oreo base. Okay. And we can see her powers here. She has a special attack power, which is binary can use penetrating psychic blast. If she does and hits, the hit character can't make a ranged combat attack during its next turn. Okay. So a different form of incapacitate, I guess. And then white hole energy, as I said, she has the power to tap into the white hole. Binary can use energy shield deflection and regeneration. She has the Avengers, Cosmic, Spy, Star Jammers, and X-Men keywords. 
still hypersonic speed okay so which is really good uh, and then invulnerable and super strength okay and she's donning the classic miss marvel uniform okay with s okay i like this call and then of course we have our last and only modern binary she is from the house of except okay so we have her here so as, as you can see it's very similar to the old one to the first one okay so it's a remake i guess and she's quite protected because she's a chase figure okay so let's take a look at her dial okay we do have the card here so binary is set number 72 from the house of except Avengers, Star Jammers, X Men, Cosmic Soldier keyword. She, she has one trait, uh, which is power overwhelming. Binary has protected pulse wave. Once per turn, when she KOs an op opposing standard character with an attack, after resolutions, she can make or use make an attack using pulse wave at no cost. And if she occupied a square, the KO uh, as if she occupies the square, the KO character occupied. So it's like. She is, uh, when she KOs that character, it, that character goes out with a bang and then uh, with her dealing pulse wave, attacking with pulse wave from that character. And then she has a special attack power, cosmic star power, pouring out energy explosion, penetrating psychic blast, and poison. That's neat. So let's take a look at her dial. Okay, still hypersonic speed. 11.18.4 with prob, invincible, and pulse wave. Tap click for 175 points. But I'd rather use her on the 100 point line with that special attack power uh, to begin with. Okay. So she loses the prob, but 11 is a decent attack value. She has the cosmic and the X Men team ability. Special appearance is the uncanny x-men number 164 1982 okay so that is binary so we are complete for now in terms of hero clicks figures for bi binary okay but let's let's set them aside because our main agenda is to unbox this Marvel Legends figure. Okay. So I think this is mint in sealed box. Yeah, it's mint in sealed box. Uh, because there's no buff part for this. Okay. So uh, she's not one of those popular figures. I remember popular figures would cost around 1000 for 400 or even at least 1400 pesos but this one i think i got her around uh 1000 or probably even lower than that okay but anyway we're opening her up we're not gonna keep the box it's just a waste of space so we're not too worried about the condition of the box here Okay, let's see what we have. So we have this obligatory piece of paper to tell you stuff. And then of course, we have the hand effects. Okay, the flare effects. As well here, the fireball and the flame effects. And then we have alternate closed fist. And then we have the main figure. Okay, I really like the implementation of the hair. Translucence always gets me. So let's get her out. Pop her out in the clamshell. Apologies for the sound. Okay, so she came up quite easily. Okay, so she's tight. Okay, tight as can be. See the head. The head is also tight. Okay, so that's what she looks like. All angles. Okay.
Okay, let's take out the fireballs. Again, apologies for the sound. One. And. Okay. Ah, so hard. There you go. <laughs> and then, let's take out the flare effects. Flame effects. Okay, this should be easier. And then, of course, the alternate hands. Okay, so that's all the figures we have or the pieces we have got. And as always, we will try to pose her as either one of the Heroclix figures. So let's pose her this way. Let's take this out. Okay, because the because of the fireballs are there. So we have to replace the arms, I guess. We have to replace the arms with a closed fist. Can the arms fit here? Uh, maybe the arms fit. Let me see. That's it? Hmm. I don't think so. Now let's try the closed arms. Closed fist. Or does it go here? How does it go? There? I honestly don't know. Here? There seems to be a, a hole here. There? Or does it just go... Does the fist just go here? Okay, that seems to be the case. Okay, so it's just a, f it's just the fist, I guess. Okay, I thought it would go a little deeper. Anyway, that's fine. That's the fist, fist number one. And then let's go with fist number two. There we go. And then let's use this effects for the arms. Uh, for the feet rather. For the arms. Okay. That looks good. This one doesn't want to fit. So I like this figure because again uh, of the hair, all these translucent effects really gets gets the best of me. And then this fire paint is also good. So let's copy this figure. Okay, so she's on punching position. Let's see. Okay, and then this one is drawn back. Okay, and then arms, head a little tilted, attack mode, and then fit, charging up, and then the other one, rolling out. There we go. So pretty straightforward pose for binary okay so we just need the flight stand so we can pose her like that okay that's nice okay so that's it I'll no longer take your time if you have a binary figure, you can also uh, comment what you like about this binary. And until then, I'll see you in our next video. I hope you enjoyed it. Keep safe always.